and welcome to Sorted Food. Today, another ultimate battle with a magic and food crossover. We're going to have illusionist inspired dishes and spellbinding magic thanks to Dan Rhodes. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Okay, boys, we're looking for two magical, mystical dishes that Dan and I will judge at the end based on storytelling and, of course, taste and delivery. Your time starts in three, two, one. Abracadabra? You've just ruined everything. Just ruined this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the title of my dish is Eat Your Greens. It's inspired by the magical musical Wicked. Right. Quite literally Mike's favourite. How many times have you seen Wicked Mike? About seven or eight. Let's not get bogged down with detail. It's an almost entirely green dessert, right? With a white chocolate matcha mochi ice cream. Yeah, all nice. A basil and kiwi coulis served with an emerald elixir cocktail. Nice, so it's like the Wizard of Oz sort of vibe. I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So cheeks ice cream, double cream whipped to soft peaks, melted white chocolate, condensed milk into the white chocolate with wheatgrass powder, semolite, Semolina, <laughs> spirulina, not making rice pudding, and matcha powder for that lovely green colour. Then all of that into the cream. It's going to go into a tin, into the freezer, and freeze up for about an hour. Now, the art of being a magician is to multitask and yeah. misdirect. Right now, Jamie's needing to concentrate on one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll fix that. I'll teach him some magic. He'll be on our level then. He'll be wizards like us. Jay, what are you doing? For my performance, I have decided that my magician's name and my dish name shall be one of the same. Not everything's going to rhyme, but just yeah, it's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Gentlemen, today I would like to introduce you to Sloppy J. Oh, I like it. Sloppy J not only refers to my style of magic, <laughs> love, <laughs> and presentation, but also to the dish that I am making, which is a take on a sloppy joe, but using a magician's favourite animal. Dove. Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. You ruined that one, didn't you? Slow cooked, fast cooked rabbit legs. Yeah, you can look confused. That's what magic does. Slow cooked, fast cooked rabbit legs, fried till golden brown and then thrown into a magic cooking machine. And talking of magic, can we see some stuff? Can you see a magic trick? I, I mean, yes, my inner geek. It I, would be rude not to show you a magic trick. I'll show you a card trick. Can we try this with, we'll try it with TV. I'll try some with you. All right, do us a favor, call stop. Stop. Stop there, you sure? Yes. You 100%? Yes. Right, we'll use the other nine of hearts. Good choice. Could you hold on to my cards? Yep. My glamorous assistant. All right, so look, we'll take the nine. I'm going to tear this card. Okay, now watch this corner. Watch three, two, one. Gone. Look, the corner disappears. They're left speechless. Now, magicians know that when something disappears, it's not just gone, it has to reappear somewhere else. So, look, I'll leave that card just about there. And uh, what can we use? We'll use something from the bowl and watch very closely. Actually, do you want to cut that for me as well? Try and just cut straight through. And uh, there you go. So you can do the final bit for me and we'll see that inside of the lemon, there should be a card. <laughs> Pull that out. Is that the exact same piece? I don't like it. He's just lost the words, <laughs> it's funny. You can't set us a challenge of making magic food and then come in and do real magic and expect us to be able to match it. That's the way it works. And look, we'll take the nine, one last thing. We'll, uh, we'll go like this, it should actually. Oh, shut up! No! <laughs> so I'm melting my cheese with some double cream. Is this going to plan? Yeah. Is it going to plan so much that I should alert Ebbers? <laughs> so Jay. Yeah. What are you doing? Because so far, I've heard a lot of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> what are you actually doing? I've taken the cheese back to the cow. Right. In the form of milk and cream. Right. I shall now mature it by providing the deep veiny blue that you like from blue cheese. That sounded immaculate. Mm -hmm. Could not have said it better if he tried. Say the magic words. Abracadabra.
Let's make some mochi. It's glutinous rice flour, some sugar and some water combined to make a paste. And then I heat that in the microwave. Oh, wait, no, I've got to make it green first. So mochi is essentially, it's glutinous rice flour. Right. And you sort of make a paste and then it dries into sort of a, a skin. That sounds horrible, but it's like a gelatinous skin. It, it's amazing. I shall now take my magical <laughs> shall now take <laughs> this is amazing. My magical blue <laughs> cheese. And put it in the fridge. Could I do you another trick? Please. Yes, yes cool. All right, so I'm going to show you a trick in my book, OK? Could you hold on to oh, your hand? Nice plug. Yeah, nice plug for the book. <laughs> Shameless plug. Put your hand on top, OK? And don't let me get near it. And put one hand on the bottom. Hold on to it for your life. Okay, go on your phone calculator. Yes. So pass it to me. I'm going to make a prediction, OK? Click the times button and then call stop. Stop! Stop right there. Okay, this is your card, the Ten of Diamonds. Good choice. All right, look, I'll take the Ten of Diamonds. You can all see this card. Okay, I'll take the Ten, and then I'll just put the Ten like this. I'll give it a blow, and that Ten disappears. Turns to an Ace. Okay, now look, could you put in any two-digit number you want? Put another one then. Then press equals. What have you got? Two, four, eight. Two, four, eight. Right, do you remember what card you picked? Ten. The ten of diamonds. You turned right? it into an ace. I turned it into an ace. So where's the ten gone? It's the real question. Probably in my bum, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, have a check. I'm joking. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. I wish I was that good. Tell you what, though. Could you uh, turn to page two four eight for me? No. I have you ever read a book before? <laughs> is that the same card? Yes. There we go. Is. And it even says anything is possible. Oh. So it goes. Oh. <laughs> It's there got layers go. to it. Yes, it has. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. My rabbit's been cooking for 15 minutes. I'm now tipping all of the cooking juice into a large saucepan. I'm going to add some Dijon mustard, fried shallots, smoked paprika, a bit of sugar. Let my rabbit cool down for a little bit then shred it up, chuck that in. We're going to bring that to a simmer, get it all nice and sticky, reduced down. Mm. How sticky is your mochi? Basically, it's going in and out of the microwave every minute for about three or four minutes until it becomes really sticky and stretchy. I've basically got a corn-starched baking parchment and I'm giving it a roll out to about half a centimetre thick and then I'm gonna actually let it cool for about 15 minutes before cutting it into circular discs for my ice cream to go in the middle of. Nice. So when you were given the brief magic and food, where did your mind go? Well, instantly to the only thing that I associate with magic, which is Wicked, the musical. I wanted to find like the, the right balance between like a dish inspired and actually link it to the thing that's supposed to be inspiring it. Um, so it wasn't just crowbarred in, which I've been guilty of in the past. Um, but also try and not only link it to the brief in language and food, yeah. but try and add some sort of magical themed reveal at the end. Yeah. I have no idea whether that's going to work, but hey, that's the jeopardy. That's the foreshadowing. Spaff, what are you doing? You've gone quiet again. Ebers, I don't. I feel like you're being too distracted yeah, I'm, I'm so, by the magic honestly, to focus on what's happening. You give me the best misdirection that you guys are getting away with murder in the kitchen today. Dan, how long did it take for you to like learn and be confident enough to perform? No, I started when I was um, seven. I'm 19 now, so I can't do maths, but that's, uh, that's a long while, is it? Do you want it's my about as long as we've been doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Can you show me a trick? Silk tricks. Yeah. So, yeah. empty hands. And um, try and see if we can basically place the handkerchief right down into the hand. The good thing is no sleeves, as yeah. so you can see. It Nothing up the sleeve. Genuinely, genuinely going into the palm of your hand. Into the palm of the hand, and we're probably going to need you to give a little bit of like a magic breath. Yeah. As you go like that, and it just vanishes. But only if you blow, will it come right the way back. I'm done. That was too good. <laughs> it's actually irritating how much of a good time Evers is having. I know. Mochi discs, done. Just going to let those set for about 15 minutes. Um, in the meantime, let's make a basil and kiwi coolie. 
So basil going into salted boiling water for about 30 seconds, and I'm gonna whip it out, put it in a ice bath um, to blanch it. Keeps all the color really vibrant. I've ribboned two carrots of orange and purple, and I'm gonna put them in a killer jar with some thyme and rosemary and pour over a boiling mixture of water, cider vinegar and sugar. What has happened to you? And then you the magic shall appear. Why are you speaking like some sort of person guarding a bridge or something? <laughs> Rule number one of magic, never repeat a trick. Jay, we haven't got enough vinegar for you to repeat this. Get it right first time. They say once is a trick, twice is a lesson. Then boys, let me show you my magic pickle. Oh no, that doesn't sound <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> Watch as this clear liquid of cider vinegar, water and sugar goes in to our glass jar and turns a deeper shade of purple. So many different ways to peel a kiwi. Is this? Is this the, your preferred method? He's gone for probably the easiest method for multiple when you don't need it whole. Right, yeah, because I'm going to blend all this up. With my basil blanched, I'm squeezing the excess water out. It's going into a blender with the kiwi, and I'm going to zhuzh it out for about a minute, adding a bit of sugar and the odd ice cube until I've got the perfect zhuzhable consistency. OK, last few minutes. Last 60 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Dan, are you ready for their performances? I am so ready. I've never been more ready. I'm not ready. I am not ready. Jay, we've had the dress rehearsal. Show us what it's all about. We've spent the day talking about magicians. We have. And wizards. One thing we haven't spoken about is witches. Right. Witches and their magic cauldrons. What's my, what's my theme again? Oh, oh, but not only fire. There we go. There, oh, there oh. it is, there it is. Oh, oh. Pulled rabbit from a hat. Pulled rabbit from a hat. That's quite good. Add some of our elixir into there. Some blue cheese. Gentlemen, I present you with the Sloppy J. Congrats. Pulled rabbit from a hat, that's clever. Colour changing pickles, I'm on board. What is that cheese? Blue cheese. <laughs> yeah. I like the story, I like the play on words. I'm intrigued to know what it, how it eats. Cheers. Good level of smoke. I'm still confused by the blue cheese. Yeah. It tastes like cheese, that. but it just looks odd. Storytelling, it hits all the magic boxes. I like the pulled rabbit out of the hat. The rabbit is cooked really well, and finishing it with that brandy that had been on fire but was definitely still boozy was really nice, and the pickles are great. To be fair, it was very well thought out, very original. I don't think I've ever heard of someone making a rabbit for a man. You don't In, see it at kids' shows very often. Yeah, 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 you don't, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll give that a nine. Congratulations. Oh, a you're nine. Doing well. Oh, a nine. Which means you've got all to play for, Mike. Okay, Dan. Yep. First off, let's. Uh, a bit of dry. Oh, get our elixir bubbling. I like it. This yes, I do like. Get in the cold drink, guys. That's it. Do not drink that. You should not consume dry ice. <laughs> that is purely for effect. So, eat your greens inspired by Wicked. A dish that defies gravity. Wow. Where? Oh, oh. No it's way. It's actual science. Oh my God. Let me put a card under there. And spins. Levitation. You get that. Cheers, Dan. Good to have you here. <laughs> now, straight off the bat. That <laughs> is not mine. The illusion is finished. <laughs> That's mine. It's rubbish, <laughs> it looks terrible, <laughs> and it was too heavy to float on that. But yes. there you go, you got the illusion. It's the thought right. that counts. Cheers. Cheers.
Yep, makes you breathe fire, doesn't it? Like a dragon. <gasps> it takes you on a journey and not just down the yellow brick road. It's got all of the textures and sensations from chewy mochi to ice cold, popping candy, kind of a twang of basil, which is quite strong for a dessert, but kind of brought back by kiwi. Perhaps anything that lets it down you also have that slight corn flour that you've rolled the mochi in, which is quite drying in your mouth. I'm not proud of the mochi. The mochi isn't good. I've seen you make better mochi before. Yeah. But as a story and with elixir, I like the magic vibe. Yeah. I just want to say, how does that song go? Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. I'm saying goodbye to it. I'm never trying that again. <laughs> um, that was, I'm joking, no. <laughs> the, yes, no. really deep. <laughs> no, this was incredible. I'm going to give it a solid eight. But as a whole, in terms of making that float, making the ice appear inside, the fact that it was a wicked theme, it was very on brand. I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. Ooh. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Jamie is absolutely gobsmacked. Dan, it's up to you. You can award one magic badge today. Only one. A magic badge. A magic badge. Clutching. Yeah, it's like when you join the magic circle, you get a little pin badge. It's much the same like that. We'll stick it under the creativity section. <laughs> Who do you think was your winner today? Was it pulling rabbit out of a hat with a cauldron of elixir? Or was it our yellow brick road wicked event? All right, officially the winner of this little cook-off is... Mr. Mochi. There we go, you win. I mean, I don't know what I'm more surprised at, that or the fact that you won. <laughs> Dan, a massive yeah, thank you. Thank you. So good. Not everyone agrees. <laughs> but if you agree or not, comment down below, let us know, and make sure you go check out Dan's channel. There's loads of amazing magic on there, including more to the team. There is. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been magic. Well, Evans, I've got some magic for you. Ooh. You are you are literally like it's Tommy so Cooper over there. He's showing off. He's showing off. <laughs> it's gone to his head. The magic's gone to his head.